Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have an 8-pin Acidesmo. Or 8 sliders. Sorry about that. I'm not used to picking sliders yet. But uh, yeah, 8 slider Acidesmo. We're going to insert this tension wrench here to push all these sliders on both sides all the way down. There we go. And we're going to tension it counterclockwise because that is the only direction that this particular lock opens. So here we go. Go one. We'll click on two. Three. Three. There we go. One. Four. No, so we got a nice turn there. So uh, our left side is picked. We're going to move on to our right side. And I really like the heaviness of this pick. Stick with it. So get under the right side pins as well, though. Three. Yeah, I'm gonna switch here. Four is really stiff. That was pin two. I could visibly see that I somehow knocked it all the way up, so I'm trying to actually knock it back down again before I proceed. I think it's good there. One was really stiff, so we corrected that. I know one is really low. So all these are really loose. I think pin four in the back is just not quite on correctly. So 
I try to, there we go, I think that was it right there. Okay, pin four completely situated. And three is stiff, so we're going to try to stay underneath it first of all. One, two, three. Visibly see that pin two. Ooh, nice big set there. So that makes me believe that we're really close. Let's go through. One. One, two are good. Get a different pick. Three, four. Go. Oops, we have been one shot way up there again, so we brought that back down. As well as pin three. There we go. Our pin two is stiff. Two is loose. And three is loose. Top of pin four, it feels like it's maybe just a little too high. Maybe not. three we need to set again. So we keep dropping stuff. There we go. Not too high either. Oops. One and two are super loose, so I'm trying to keep them at the bottom, so that's what I'm doing there.
four. Again, without shooting it all the way to the damn top. Go. Looks like we shot pin two all the way to the top when we did pin three. Or no, we didn't. Got the right position for pin three here. It was loose right there. And after that, I'm not feeling anything else, so let's go check pin four again. Make sure that. Good, I think. Yeah. Everything is loose over here. So what I'm going to do is go check the other side. I wonder if I... Let me hit something over here. Not doing that side. Yep. Pin four on the left side there. Now I can visibly see pin one on the right side. I accidentally lifted that up. I bet you this would be open if this wasn't here. Oh, you bastard. Nope. So I got pin two right here still. Three, yep. And two is stiff and really high, so I'm trying to bring it back down. We just got it right there. Yep. There's our open. Oh, oops. Oh, God, that what perfect timing. So. <laughs> Glad I got that in camera. So there we go. There's our open. And I'm going to zoom out now. Do have two cameras going for this, but out of principle. Go ahead and just throw the vise on the ground. And. that on the back that actually took way longer than the first time I picked this on my second time this is my second Desmo the first one I got is extremely difficult extremely difficult I spent hours on it to the point where I was even um, I was like okay I just want to learn the feel of it well I definitely have the feel of the sliders uh, it's just a difficult lot because I was even looking at the key and I could not do it even progressive pinning with six pins it was ridiculous and annoying but yeah, so I, I bought a new one because I uh, I went by my own um, my own advice. If one lock's giving you trouble, uh, just try a different one. And uh, here we are. Go, we got that off. 
And now I haven't gutted this one yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same as the other one where, yep, hold this sidebar in on both sides. There we go. There are our eight pins down below. And so we got our left side and right side. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the sidebars here because those aren't very important anymore. And for, we're going to do our left side first. What the hell is that ring? Let's remove that. Can't exactly get the pins out with that in the way. So yeah, left side. I'll just grab them. Orientate them on the map in the way that they would be um, sitting inside the lock. And that's with this nub down. And then over here. Come on out. Last one. Don't be stubborn. We all want to see what you have. Show us what you got. Come on. The sharp edges just hold on to this damn thing. Doesn't want to come out here if I you know what hang down jeez wow try to push it down from the sidebar jeez Edges are sharp in there. Alright. Let's see. It's a different pair of uh, thinner tweezers or something can help me get in there. From a different angle to where it won't catch as easily. Come on, just... There we go, I think we're getting it. Jesus. Yep, it's gonna fly. Holy cow, jeez, just... There we go. Holy shit. What's up with that thing? It's so stuck. Now I got it coming out of a little bit of an angle, so it's being even more screwy. Uh, that'll be fun messing with. Put back together. There we go. Just come out. Oh, it looks like there we go. Looks like there was a little piece of red plastic in it or something that was preventing that part from coming out so yeah there we go finally there are eight pins there's our asset desmo here are is our bidding and so yeah the way it works is the um which one of these we're going to use this one this is the true gate right here they're really they're really deep Holes right there is the true gate, and when you're in the true gate, it will feel wiggly when you're in it. Otherwise, it'll feel really stiff. And um, you can see how the gates align here. So, like this one, 
is the second gate. All of them only have three. This one's the second gate, so it's about midway up the key. This one is a lower up, uh, up the key, so you can see it's at the top right there. And then really high up the key is up here, so the third gate. So you really have three gates for each one when you're picking it. So if you start all at the bottom and you nudge one up one a piece, then you know that um, there's a good chance, like Black Picking Lawyer said, at least a third of them are going to be set. Anyways, that is an Asodesma. Put the focus there. Eight pins, and just because I know people will be curious, this is a custom brass multi pick flag that I made for it. Feels great, just a little bit bigger than a little bit bigger than a normal multi pick. Nice solid, and the weight of it feels great. Yeah, anyways, there is our Asodesmo. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.